Sonny Hostin of In Session on True TV joins me from New York. I think the question on everyone's mind, Tony, is yeah. was it really worth the wait? Six years of legal wrangling, two years, as you mentioned, just yes. to negotiate this settlement. And in order for this really to work, 100% of the plaintiffs have to agree to participate in it. Joining us now, In Session contributor Sonny Hostin. He says the standard for stopping people is high. And police are not just able to stop someone if they think they're an illegal immigrant. Well, listen, that's nonsense. This is basically legalized racial profiling. Reasonable suspicion means that you have a reasonable suspicion that someone has either committed a crime or, or, or is about to commit a crime. I'm a former federal prosecutor, as our viewers know, and as you know, and I've always believed in the law. My parents instilled that in me. And when I hear that a law is being passed whose sort of intellectual predicate is based on fear, it's based on hate, it embarrasses me because it bastardizes our law. The issue here is everybody knows that waterboarding is torture, and that was no, an no, 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 no. And it's torture. It's, everyone knows that, no, and no, that was the policy under the Bush administration. Course, Why don't we talk about that? What, what, what are the time? Orthopedic surgeon Emmanuel Huston is the husband of CNN legal contributor Sonny Huston. What's been the personal uh, toll of this earthquake on your family? Well, it's been very difficult. Um, as, as many know, we lost several members of our family in Haiti. Uh, some made it, some did not. And so, you know, we've been along with, I think, most of the country really watching CNN, uh, calling back home and trying to reach our relatives. Um, and it's been, you know, a tragedy of catastrophic proportions. And it's been a very personal one for us. Why is life planning so important? Well, it is really important because you don't want the state to deal with your property and, and your finances and what your children will get. You want to be able to plan that during your life. And as you mentioned, no one wants to deal with the D word, which is why I like to call it life planning. Yeah. Sunny Hostin found another way to stay in shape. Oh, yeah. And she's doing it live. Look at Sunny. Oh, my. <laughs> Dr. Gupta is going to tell us why this type of exercise is actually very good for your health. This is our legal analyst, is it? <laughs> in New York, and, and really, it depends on the state that you're in. Some states will only give you three days' notice to move out. Some states give you upwards to 60 days, as in California. Unbelievably, foreclosure trumps your rental lease, and so you will have to move out. The ACLU is saying there are a million names on the list. The FBI is saying that's not correct. There are about 400,000 names on the list. But what we do know is that more than 30,000 Americans have, been, have asked airlines to take them off the list. So at the very least, more than 30,000 Americans are affected. We've heard Jim Robinson, a former Justice Department official. Nelson Mandela was on the list. Ted Kennedy, Cat Stevens. Um, one of the more egregious examples that we've heard of is a gentleman by the name of Akifur Rahman computer uh, software design owner, um, Muslim descent, born here in the United States, has been detained uh, four times over uh, the span of approximately one year, one time, Kieran, with his two young children and his wife, a four-year-old and a one-year-old, for six hours. So this is affecting many, many people. A new law in California aimed to protect children, but, but not in the way you might initially think. Exactly. You know, it's, it's interesting. It just seems to be such common sense. But in California, the new law is no smoking in cars with children, people. California has outlawed smoking in a car when anyone under the age of 18 is present. Violators are going to be punished by a fine of up to $100. So no smoking in cars. We know about the effects of secondhand smoke. Yeah. You can't do it. American Morning Legal Analyst Sonny Hostin is covering all sides of this unprecedented case. A dream that became a nightmare for 10 nurses recruited from the Philippines. Now all of them face criminal charges after resigning from a Long Island nursing home. What exactly are the nurses being charged with? Endangering the welfare of a child and endangering the welfare of a physically disabled person. Sharon Bannon's 24-year-old daughter Jody has severe brain damage and suffers from a seizure disorder. I could have lost my girl. I'm not there to take care of her. I need them to take care of her. What do you say to folks that say, well, actually, it's Avalon's fault? There was no critical reason why the nurses needed to resign without notice. American Morning's legal analyst Sunny Hassan is here with her pet egg, 
Here, uh, here's it's not my pet egg. Here's I our borrowed household. the pet egg. <laughs> well, this one came from our household, so cheers. <laughs> some people love them, some people hate them. It's just everywhere. So it's what's everywhere. the deal with these uh, the people in the commercial? They are saying that they were duped. It's pretty clear it's about money. It's about compensation because this thing is big. Verbal contracts, though, John and Karen, are binding in many, many states. But the problem is you've got to prove that so it how existed. Do you prove it? How do you prove it? Uh, the takeaway, I think, is get it in writing. She <laughs> took the ring and she didn't give it back. But I think Stephen is very, very lucky because it really depends on which state you're in. Some states think, you know, if you're the person that was the dumpy, you get to keep the ring. However, however, in Texas, since she broke it off, she has to return the ring. So Stephen, go Ooh. get an attorney, get your money back. At least some of it. <laughs> At least some of it. At least right. some of it.